There are lots of questions about how the FIFA 20 market is working this year because it's very different to how it has been in past years. So in this video, I'm going to be going over that exact question and of course kind of like breaking it down into more parts and explaining how the market is going to be doing every single week, how the market trends are going to be this year because it is different to last year and also what's going to be going on of course in the future weeks and longer term months in of course the FIFA 20 market and how the players are going to be affected. So let's just before we get into it if you are new here make sure that you do subscribe i'm going to be making lots more videos just like this one also trading and investing how to make coins and just like this one about the market when it's going to go up when it's going to go down and explaining in general how the market is going to go in the next few days and the next few weeks so you definitely don't want to miss them the main thing that we do need to understand is that the market is no longer like it is last year there were lots of different things last year that were happening for example icon sbcs have been taken out this year we have a whole new New revamped objective system it's not just going to be objectives every single Friday for example now we have icon swaps which can be completed whenever of course lots of people are going to be spending lots of time on that and we also have lots of different features of course even small features that are going to be of course changing the FIFA 20 market trends and the main thing that we can notice is that the market no longer goes down on Sunday like we did see last year if you do check out the last year the market of course talking about now the weekly market trend what would happen every single week Week because of foot champion rewards and the weekend league how it would affect the market basically last year every single Sunday and also Monday morning we would see the market be absolutely low and then it would slightly it would like slightly recover over the next few days and then mainly there would be a big increase on Thursday but now it is completely different what we are starting to see this year in my opinion is that the market does go up of course until around Thursday and the market is quite high on Thursday and it will usually decrease if there is content at 6 p.m. because we have seen now EA Sports are just releasing not not really random SBCs but a lot of different SBCs to what we have normally seen. As you can see, there's one there was like a Born Legends one that we did get, and that's just it's pretty random, but it is good content from EA Sports giving us a SBC to complete for a nice bunch of packs, which of course is very good, but that does have an effect on the market. So when these of course very unexpected SBCs are released at 6 p.m. either on a Thursday, if not on the Thursday, then on the Friday this would definitely decrease the prices and we didn't really see this that as a threat on Thursday last year which this year of course we do need to notice as a threat so pretty much any single day of course 6 p.m. UK time the market could get hit of course all of the gold cards the meta cards the overpowered cards pretty much every single gold card that of course is usable and of course is quite expensive and needed for the weekend league does actually take a quite a hit because we do of course get this SBC born legends everyone does do it because they either do it from their club or it's of course it's very affordable very cheap to complete and there are actually pretty decent packs and people start packing good stuff and they just straight away list it on the transfer market and that does bring the overall prices down and pretty much this is every single week there's this huge threat that we haven't seen last year of if something gets released at 6 p.m uk time all gold cards are going to be get hit so that is something very important you do need to always keep in mind especially if you are of course trying to flip players and other stuff like that of course it does create a very nice buying opportunity but then of course you do need to be careful of course when you are going to sell it out if it's going to get hit even more by another SBC content the next day or something like that so that's something you definitely need to keep in mind for the weekly market trends of course I haven't really seen too many people talk about this but it is a lot different to last year appreciate all of you guys support on these market videos really appreciate it the videos are doing absolutely amazing and of course if you guys do have any other questions or anything like that definitely comment down below I'll get back to you also you can DM me on Twitter or Instagram for extra help and I am going to be having like more of these mini market videos I want to try and keep them short and explain like a main topic in them so of course it will help you guys understand the FIFA 20 market because it is a bit complicated this year and I want to make sure that you guys do understand everything so you can make coins and also to make sure that you do not lose any coins so just make sure that you are subscribed possibly notifications on as well if you do want to be first to the videos and these videos should definitely help you guys out thank you guys for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time Thank you.